Alrighty, what's up YouTube? It's boy Crypto here. I am gonna try this out. This is going to be... I'm just gonna do a couple episodes of this, see how it goes. I'm gonna see if I can start a Jack and Daxter Let's Play. Now, Jack and Daxter was a launch title for the PlayStation 2. In fact, it came with our PlayStation 2. So, it's a game I played a lot as a kid. I never beat it I'm up until recently. I finally managed to beat the game. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Jack and Dexter series. Um, I could talk a lot about it. I, I know how to play it pretty well. So, I figured it would be interesting. Try out a couple episodes of maybe a Jack and Dexter Let's Play. So, without further ado, let's start a, start a new thing. Forgive me, this main menu for some reason, you can only hear out of the right ear. I don't know why it is, but everything else in the game is fine. So, we're gonna start a new game. Um, this is the one, this, this right here is the one that I just finished a bit ago. So we'll start this, uh, Misty Island one. It's our brand new game. Here, come along with us. Alright guys, so this intro cutscene is around seven minutes long. I don't know if you want to watch the whole seven minutes, but essentially the gist of what happened is Daxter turned into an Otzel by jumping into Dark Eco. And our main quest is to essentially drive all the way to the north to find this sage to get him to turn back from uh, to get him to turn back from an onsel back to a human. And in order to get there along the way, we have to collect these power cells. So, yep, that's the TLDR. Alrighty, we're about to do uh, the tutorial. Stuff, now, I was worried there for a second because I really Jack wanted to start there. doing some Before PlayStation 2 games. So I went out and dug out this little adapter. What you're currently watching me is my PS2 is plugged into this adapter that goes to HDMI into my capture card on the PC. This device is a communicator. With it, my father um, can give you advice at any time. And your quest. when you adapt RCA to HDMI, there's likely going to be a little bit of input lag, but I can rest assure you there is not a whole lot of input lag, so. This, uh, hopefully if this playthrough takes off, it will, uh, be pretty normal. Okay, so we're gonna try and, at least in the beginning of the game, I'm gonna try and, like, 100%, so, it's divided, so, here. As you can see in the top right, we have precursor orbs, power cells, scout flies, uh, the main objective of this game is to basically collect all the power cells, and collect all the precursor orbs, and collect all the scout flies. Um... And you do so simply by walking, walking up to it. Sometimes they're just sitting there, or other times you have to do little objectives to try and get all your items. That's why I said this is very... It's interesting because this game is sort of like a platformer. It's very much complete the level, collect all the items. Whereas in Jack 2, it's very much like guns and like destruction and like gritty, more story-based stuff. Um... And it's like, and it's like much more, it, it kind of plays a bit more like, uh, like a little bit more linear GTA San Andreas, to put it simply. So, still a very fun game, but very, very different. So, go ahead and beat all the items. The guys are actually not really too difficult. You just collect all the orbs, do the various stuff, power cells, so, every time you get a power cell saves the game. There are 100 power cells you can collect in the game. Um, uh, the most I've got, as you can see from my playthrough that I finished a while ago, I, the most I've ever got is 80. If I really, really wanted to, I could try and get all 100. But that would be very, very daunting task, which I would be willing to do only if the series takes off. It, if it takes off, we might we might try and get to 100 power cells, but we'll see. Right now, I just want to record a couple episodes, see how this goes. And there we go, fourth power cell here. Alrighty. So, I might as well chat it up here, guys, as we go on to the various levels here. I don't know if you if you are a returning subscriber, 
I've been kind of kind of getting a little active here in the YouTube. I've had a steady stream of ideas on content and whatnot. I have a fair few things planned uh, going up. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having a blast. So having a blast, come back to YouTube, doing stuff. I'm trying to take my time because every time I come back to YouTube, I get overzealous and like overwhelmed with having to do too much at once. I'm going to try my best this time around to just kind of take it slow and go day by day and not upload so many uh, videos all in one day. So I, that's why I'm going to do one video a day at 11 o'clock uh, Los Angeles time. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, as far as the uh, as far as the video uh, plans goes, so this so okay, so might as well explain. Anytime you see this guy right here, uh, you have to be charged with blue eco, which is the stuff you just saw me go in. Every time I chill, it's blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. So there are various ecos in this game. This is blue eco, it makes you run faster, jump higher, and punch harder. Then there's yellow eco. Yellow eco allows you to shoot fireballs. Red eco. Um, green eco is your health, which is the little, the little uh, green stuff you saw me picking up. Um, Red eco makes you stronger, and it like allows you to punch like heavier objects and whatnot. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up fifty small green ecos. Oh, also, forgot to mention the one flaw in this game is kind of how the health system works. Uh, can I? So wait a. There it is. So if you see in the top left. You saw those here. I'll, I'll flash a, I'll flash a thing as I talk about this. Your health kind of has four. You can jump once, then jump again it's tough to explain. To it's a little bit complicated. So it, you basically have three health bars that you only can level up a health bar either by getting one giant one or fifty small ones, which is kind of weird. Like. 50 small little, uh, 50 small little, uh, little things just to heal up one of your health bars, which kind of plays out where you, like, you'll lose two of your health bars. Oh, there we go. I just put R2. So, as you can see, I have all three of them, and then if you get up to another 50 of the, of the little ones, it can kind of count as your fourth. So, so if you have full up all three of those and you have 50 and you get hit, it just goes down, that 50 goes down to zero. But it kind of plays out in the sense that once you, once you hit like, once you get hit once, it takes, unless you find one of those magic green ones or green vent, it takes 50 freaking little tiny things just to heal up. Uh, your 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 health bar, and they're not as they're not as like sparse. There's not as concentrated. They're they're very sparsed out in this game, which is kind of weird. In the second and third game, they kind of made it just one health bar, just one sequential health bar, as opposed to this divided by fifty business. So that's one thing that the second and third game definitely uh, improved upon, as far as the health system goes. So yeah. That's kind of that. Um, let's go on. Uh, we're about 14 minutes in. We'll go ahead and go on to these next couple areas and get some power cells going. What I'd like to do is these next three areas. There are three areas that I have going on here, which is the town right here, which is Sandover Village. Uh, and then there's Sentinel Beach and then the Forbidden Jungle. Those are three areas. Okay, so yeah, I don't know to so this right here is the Sandover Village. As you can see, there are a myriad of power cells that I can get. I'd like to get all power cells in Sandover Village, uh, Sentinel Beach, and Forbidden Jungle. So, because those ones are pretty easy, because it's just it's the very beginning levels of the game. So I, I, I imagine 
getting them shouldn't be too it looks rough. Like flies are always in red Actually, boxes. let me phrase that. I know they're not too rough because I did it not too long ago. No. We're going to try and find the uh, scout flies here in Sanover Village to see if we can get at least one power cell. Now this. See those gears up there, boy. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. Boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor ovens. There you go. So with this guy, so you'll find all these uh, various du dudes and gals who have various little objectives. They can either trade power cell, trade precursor orbs for power cells, or they'll have you do little tasks for power cells. Um, so I'm going to try and find. I am recording an episode, and I'm just going to cut in here that I'll be on an episode soon. Yes, yes, we're going to record a. We'll be recording another let's play. Uh, with dad. With dad. Sitting over your shoulder. Going, what the fuck is that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to bleep that out. Okay. Hey. Bye. Bye. Little furry dude. Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? I don't have to bleep it out. Before? You just can't Little curse in the first 30 seconds of the video. Full of spunk and crazy as a lark. All right, so with this guy, oh, I get it. Quite simply. He's lost his little muse that fact, looks a lot like my muse, I just can't looks a lot like Daxter, and the objective with this guy is to go over to another place called Misty Island to go get right his little thing back. So, I think she ran away to that Misty Island. Now we don't have access to the boat yet, so um, we'll have to uh, work our way to get there. We are not. Alright, I'm just going to try and focus on getting all seven scout flies in the light for the rest of this episode rather than try and talk to everyone. I really want to do that, so I'm going to try to. I did do this recently, but it's been a while. So let's try and get all seven scout flies. One there, there's one there. What do I have? Oh, you only have five. I got this. Ooh, this will be fun. Do this. Oh, shit. That, that worked. I used the blue eco to activate this gate. Alright. Well, I see two of them right there, so we're going to go ahead and go for those. Yeah, go ahead and go for those guys. I just don't know where those other two are. I'll have to really do my digging to try and find it. Alright, four. Let's see. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on a rocks over there. So that's another. This guy simply you trade your precursor arms for more power cells. <coughs> All right. Got my five scout flies so far. We got the schemers. We're gonna find the last two scout flies. You just gotta push her, push her bird. She has a bird on the beach thing. You just gotta push onto the 
Let's Maybe we should go root out the fisherman. I heard he was in the jungle fishing by the lower river. She Dexter, I wonder. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. Oh, there's one. I don't think we can tackle we got a this. That we got this. We will find all seven scout flies in this episode. I am determined. We will do this, gamers. Alright, this is number six. Where is number seven is the question. That's the question on everyone's mind is where is this seventh scout fly? <laughs> Gee, I don't know where this thing is. Is it all the way over here? <gasps> it's right here! Yay! We did it! Yay! There we go. Alright. <clears throat> so, that has been episode number one of my what hopefully is a compelling Jack and Dexter playthrough. Gee, Dexter, thank you. Um, yeah, that's been episode one of what hopefully is a cool Jack and Dexter uh, let's play. I will do what I can if, if this series takes off. I'll see if I can complete the game in its entirety. So, uh, as always, if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. If your feelings go beyond that, leave a comment down below. But as always, it's been your boy Crypto, signing off. Peace. Peace.